let's go fly a kite. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. Springtime is known for great kite flying weather. And coincidentally, there is a constellation visible after sunset that looks surprisingly like a kite. That's right, James. This week, we're going to talk about the constellation Boötes the Herdsman and give you some information about some of its brightest stars. Let's show you. Okay, we have our sky set for an hour after sunset facing northeast where we see the Big Dipper high above the North Star. If its cup was full of water, it'd be pouring into the Little Dipper and overflowing onto me. If we shoot an arrow through the two stars on the end of the Big Dipper's cup and continue that line, it'll run smack dab into the North Star. Now, let's use the Big Dipper's handle to find Boötes. Simply draw an imaginary line through the handle of the Big Dipper and extend it out along the curve, or arc, and you'll arc your way to the bright star Arcturus. Arcturus is the brightest star in Boötes the Herdsman and has the unique distinction of being the fourth brightest star in the night sky. The brightest star is Sirius, number two is Canopus, and number three is Alpha Centauri. Johann Baer used Greek letters, Alpha through Omega, and then A through K to label the 35 most prominent stars in Boötes. John Flamsteed later increased this number to 54 stars. Good luck finding all those stars without a super dark sky. Nevertheless, eight of those stars are easily visible to the naked eye, and the six brightest ones are even visible from a city. Those stars form a kite-shaped pattern. Their names, traveling counterclockwise from Arcturus, are Robootis, Seginus, Neckar, Delta Bootis, and Izar. The two stars hanging off either side of Arcturus, making a tail for the kite, are Muffred to the west and Zeta Bootis toward the east. Arcturus got its name from an ancient Greek word that meant guardian of the bear. This makes sense since the constellation of Boötes is right next to Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Arcturus is almost 37 light years away from us and is a red giant star about 110 times brighter than the Sun. It is also estimated to be slightly larger mass-wise than the Sun and between 6 billion and 8.5 and billion years old. Polynesian navigators called Arcturus Hokulea, the Star of Joy. And from Hawaii, Arcturus became known as the Zenith Star because it passes almost directly overhead, as seen from Hawaii, near midnight in the last few days of April. And if you like asterisms, we have a spring triangle to show you using Arcturus, Regulus, and Spica. Regulus is the brightest star in Leo the Lion. You can find it using the two stars Megrez and Fecta, which are in the bowl of the Big Dipper closest to the handle. By drawing a line from Megrez through Fecta, you will eventually run into the head of Leo the Lion, which resembles a backward question mark. The dot of the question mark is Regulus. The next star, Spica, is easy to find using our Arc to Arcturus trick. By continuing the line from the Big Dipper's handle through Arcturus, you'll speed over to Spica, the brightest star in Virgo the Maiden. So by drawing a line from Regulus to Spica and over to Arcturus, you can make the Spring Triangle. Now granted, it is a big triangle. And for you planet watchers, Jupiter is in a great location not far from Spica. It is just to the west of Spica and through a small telescope you can see its four largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Jupiter and Earth were at their closest last week, so Jupiter should still look impressive, even in a small telescope. So, get outside and check out the kite-shaped constellation of Boötes the Herdsman with its bright star Arcturus. And see if you can spot the Spring Triangle and the king of the planets, Jupiter. It's all there waiting for you when you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.